It's about 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, April 28th. This is almost certainly the last full day of this passage and of this circumnavigation and of the second part of my life, which I have called being. San Diego's just over 50 miles straight ahead. As you can see, perhaps we're making six knots. Whether we will make it in today, I don't know. Certainly we will by the math. And, but when the wind increases, the waves will get bigger. If Gannett starts leaping off of them and crashing into the troughs, I'll have to slow down. We'll see. So we may have another night at sea. Make it in at dawn tomorrow. I have written that life is only 40 years long. By that I mean that almost everything of value created by our species, or accomplished by our species, has been done by people between age 20 and 60. You could say 20 and 65, the point is the same. Your life has probably been defined, almost certainly been defined by what you did during those years. I've lived the life I wanted to live and I have understood it as I lived it. I've divided my life thus far into two parts, longing and being. And I know exactly the transition between the two. It was 11 a.m. on Saturday, November 2nd, 1974, when I pushed egregious away from her slip at Harbor Island Marina in San Diego for my first attempt at Cape Horn. That part being is going to end today or tomorrow. The first part, longing. I loved some wonderful women. I loved some women who were not so wonderful. I may have written a few good poems. I learned, but it was prelude. With me, it didn't start at 20. I was uh, nine days short of my 33rd birthday on November 2nd, 1974. But it's gone on for 44 or 45 years. I'm 77 now. The being part. So, I'm very glad to have this passage, which has been a very trying one. Uh, terrible frustration early on with no wind, and then headwinds, which I expected for the last 800 to 1,000 miles, but more or less for the last 1,500. So the day is a little bittersweet, a little allegic, uh, 